Okay, we're wrapping up this series on Hollywood and film. You, me you remember from the beginning, the original premise was Hollywood and, and film are on a quest to desensitize our society to sin, to degrade um, sexuality and morality. And I think if you've, if you've gone through each of the installments on this series, you know, one, I'd be curious to see where you fall out on this. Again, I don't, I don't have any vested interest one way or another. I'm just sharing some insight here. Uh, but I think if you've gone through this process, at least you understand. I think you're going to be more aware uh, going in, even if you reject you know, what I'm talking about here. But I think with that new level of awareness, when you do go to a movie, you're going to have a different set of eyes when you're looking at it. And, and from there, you can, you can just make some better choices. And that's what this is all about, is scrutiny. Just scrutinize what you're allowing in. And this is just an overarching topic. Be very, very protective of what you're allowing into your mind. Because it can change your life. Literally, where your thoughts go, that's where your life goes. What you think about most is what you'll become. And that is just the truth. So if you're watching a bunch of stuff that degrades women or sensationalizes killing or whatever it may be, you're becoming desensitized in a way that is just not healthy. So I would just ask you to just, with that new awareness, carry that forward and just increase your scrutiny, increase your discernment as you go forward when it comes to Hollywood and movies. And again, if you want, if you, if you love this kind of stuff and you want to expand your mindset and um, speak into others and be a part of a beautiful community that's for you, doesn't judge you and is in harmony with you, message me back. We will, we will get you some information on Life Transform. There's a link here in the email where you can look at our, our new community, our membership community, and we'd love to have you. Because uh, I think, I know, no, I know, it will have a positive impact on your life. And you will look back and say, wow, I'm so glad this exists. And I am so fortunate and I'm going to share this with everybody I know. All right, we'll see you next time.